and y'all want to know if we got this puppy and taking time out to be what's up welcome back to another vlog so i have not vlogged in a while it's been like over a week since i actually vlogged and y'all want to know if we got this puppy and did we get her yes we yes, got her we got her so she's a new addition to our family <laughs> brian is just so freaking in love with her and i guess i love her too she's so sweet you guess I you love her <laughs> I don't think I'll ever be like a dog person, but I'm gonna be a dog person for her because she's just so cute. And I have to love her anyways because Brian loves her. So her name is Stormy. Yes, her name is Stormy. Uh, she's so adorable. Nightmare. And you like the name, right? Yeah, I mean, look, I mean it suits black, her. Black, white, gray, gray, coat. And she's such a good little girl. I've been having so much joy training her. Lately. Yeah, we need to give her a bath and put a yeah. bow in her hair and all that. But she's so cute Almost and tiny. tiny. Say hello to YouTube, Sandy. <laughs> when you get you ready. Say hello to YouTube, baby. Right here, baby. <laughs> she's so precious. She needs a little haircut. When we picked her up, she was adorable, but it's been yeah, it's been like a week now. Yeah. Her hair grows back super fast, so maybe like next week we'll go get her a haircut or something. But anyways, Brian is going to work, so who's left with the dog? Who's left with the dog? Me. I'm doing all the labor. I'm doing all the feet work. <laughs> Training her. Yeah. So. All right. Bye. So anyways, a lot of you guys were in the comments and kind of like, I don't know, just being kind of rude about the whole situation. I don't know if you guys seen the end of the vlog where I was actually trying um, to get familiar with dogs and just be comfortable with them. And people are like, no, if your man wants a dog, if your husband or your fiance wants a dog, you should get a dog. You should be more open and da 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 Clearly I was being open. That's why we went to see dogs in the first place. And second of all, I, we ended up going back to see the dog so I can become more comfortable and all of that. So I definitely think the second time around I felt more comfortable and um, I was just like, okay, like we can give it a try, I guess. And also um, the breeder that we went with, she has like a policy where if, you know, it's not the right fit and not the right home, then you can bring her back and she'll find another home for her. So that's kind of what made me say fine like let's try it out won't hurt and yeah okay so i kind of want to give you guys a little bit of context and background um, about my last vlog because i feel like if you're not a long time follower of mine you won't really understand where i was coming from so let's just put it this way so i did not grow up with pets or dogs or animals in the house um it just wasn't a thing it like we just didn't do it it was just Pets and animals are just a no-go in my household and just where I grew up, how I grew up, the people around me, like none of my friends or close family really had animals or dogs or cats um, in their houses. It's just not a thing. And most of my friends are African and most of my friends are Caribbean. So I almost feel like, you know, it's just a part of the culture. Like we just don't do that. And if we do have a dog, they're outside dogs. So... Yeah, I just didn't really grow up around them. So when I did come in contact with dogs or cats, it wasn't a good experience at all. Um, so one of my cousins actually had a dog. It was a pit bull. They had a lot of animals actually. And I just remember being chased by the pit bull. I remember being bitten by the pit bull. I remember my sister being chased and now she still has this big gash on her leg from that dog um what else also cats oh my gosh so one of my mom's friends had a cat 
and they already were like kind of scary kind of creepy t to me because they just like come brush up on you um and one of them actually like spiked up at me like what you see in freaking movies and tv shows and started chasing the hell out of me i was frightened i was terrified i was traumatized and that was it so i actually remember sleeping over at like these you know my family friend's house or whatnot and i always used to ask for the top bunk because i was so scared that the dogs would climb on me at nighttime bite me the cats would brush up on me and then also just seeing their eyes in the dark was frightening it was terrifying so i used to like cry if i had to sleep at the bottom bug i used to be like okay if any of you guys are peeing you know you guys are using the bathroom during the night please close the door please close the door and 10 times out of 10 they really didn't do that and i woke up like terrified because the cat was just staring right at me so yeah not growing up with animals and just not having them around me and then also having a fear of animals was a part of my you know thinking and then the last thing is is that um you know y'all are saying oh you should let brian get this dog blah 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 he really wants it ray 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 it's not about you this and that well i kind of disagree with you because if you follow me you know brian works a very very demanding job he is barely home he works a lot you know he works almost seven days a week during the season he is gone on weekends so guess who would be taking care of the dog myself so i would be with the dog 24 7. so if it shits i don't gotta pick that up taking it taking the dog for walks all of that stuff feeding the dog getting up with it early in the morning it's, it's kind of like gonna be my dog so i was saying that i had to be happy with the dog as much as he did he connected like really easily with the dog and i didn't to begin with and of course that comes hand in hand with me just not being familiar or comfortable with dogs and what y'all really didn't understand was that i never said we're never gonna get a dog we are never going to get a dog i was saying that i was not ready for a dog so how are you gonna put down a thousand dollars at that moment my second time holding a dog in over 15 years like how would how are you gonna put that on me so that's where i was coming from in that vlog um, I probably didn't express it right, but the main thing was, was that this is literally my second time seeing and touching and playing with a dog and we already want to bring it home or you already want to bring it home and y'all were getting on my ass. So yeah, I just kind of wanted to explain that just to give you guys a little bit more context so you guys understand where I was coming from. But honestly, she is so adorable. She's cute. Brian has definitely been stepping up. And that's because he's home right now so he's been taking care of the puppy waking up every single morning doing everything training her so that's a good thing i can just cuddle her when i want to if i want to um definitely warming up to me she's so cute but she loves brian because brian just like spoils her to the max but she's definitely a good puppy she's adorable as you guys can she's so cute she's so good and um you guys are in the comments one person said like the dog kind of takes on your temperament and i guess i kind of agree with that because when she's with brian you know she has a little bit more energy and when she's with me she's pretty chill like look at her she's just chilling right now so she's adorable she's so adorable stormy warmy i call her stormy warmy <laughs> But yeah, I plan to do like a 48 hours with a puppy video. I think I'm going to put that on my main channel. I already recorded it and everything, our first 48 hours with her. So you guys will probably see that footage soon. But she's so small. She's so small. She doesn't even bark. She's so good. <laughs> and I already have like a baby voice going on with her. That's how cute and small she is. But... I'm actually about to go film a video so I'm gonna put her into the crate and she's also very good with the crate and all that like the trainer or the breeder like she trained them very very well like she barely pees or poos on the floor she's very familiar with the pad she doesn't cry at night in the crate well that's because she's in our room right now I don't know how long that's gonna last I told Brian I wanted to start putting her in the bathroom but that's a whole another story um more updates on the puppy later but I gotta go film a video now so I will see you guys oh in the meantime actually let's roll this clip of Brian scaring the shit out of me okay 
Oh my gosh, this was he tried to prank me real bad. It worked. Luckily he didn't catch the full my full reaction on camera because the battery died. But y'all, this would have been an amazing prank if he made it last longer and if he got my reaction on camera because I was about to piss myself. All right, what's up, YouTube? So today, I'm gonna scare the shit out of Shanice. I ordered this mask off of realfleshmask.com of this old white dude. And I went to the thrift store yesterday. What Shanice don't know is I'm about to scare her ass dressed up like an old ass white man. So I got this stuff right here. I'm gonna go get dressed. I'm gonna tell Shanice I'm going to, I told her I was gonna surprise her today. So I'm gonna tell her I gotta run a few errands and, um, what she doesn't know, I'm gonna tell her the maintenance man is coming to fix the garbage disposal. But it's gonna be me, and I'm gonna scare the piss out of her. Let go. Yeah, I took the camera. <clears throat> and the maintenance man will come fix the garbage disposal, okay? He might, he, I mean, he might come, he might come when I'm back. <sighs> Puppies in the cage, baby. So here's my old man clothes. This gotta happen real fast.
I think this camera went dead. Damn, I wish it got your reaction. Brian, are you serious? Y'all, <sighs> Brian got me so bad. I literally thought it was like a killer or something. I was freaked the hell out. And the thing is, I was sleeping naked, right? So I did, like, the one I jumped up, I had the cover all over me and everything. I'm like, I can't let him see me. He's gonna, I don't know like, what was going through my head. He should have let the prank go on longer. Don't you guys think so? Yeah, he I should have let, let it go longer. I got a good heart and just the look of your face. How did it look? You're looking so scared and terrified. <laughs> I had to throw the white flag. I don't know how y'all YouTubers do it as far as like <laughs> scaring the hell out of your significant other. Like I saw her and I... I felt so bad. I was like, I'm an <laughs> asshole for this. I feel so bad. Cause she, she looked so precious and I never <laughs> want to see her look like that. So I was like, damn. No. Maybe feel somebody else I would went a little overboard. Yeah. But with you, baby, I couldn't. That could. to me was so freaking funny. But honestly, I was literally terrified. And especially because I'm so into like true crime now, I'm like, just so terrified but yo the battery died first of all brian why didn't you make the why didn't you see if the battery was charged so the other one would have been charged i pressed the record button on it and it just died that's what you think probably or timed out or something no it died it the battery was exhausted he was just too excited he didn't think about the main parts the main components to get it right but yeah, that was a freaky ass prank. And I feel like if he got it all on camera, it would have been even more hilarious. But y'all heard the panic in my voice, okay? I had no gun, no knife, no nothing to protect myself. <sighs> it was in a drawer. You could have got to it. Probably. What Stop was biting it? mama oh. hair. Stop biting your mama hair. <sighs> Anyways, guys. Let's see if you can do better next time, maybe. No. I'm gonna see if I can get you hey, back some way, stop somehow. Stop biting your mommy's hair. Hey guys, so I just finished filming my video a while ago. We are now finding something to wear tonight. Well, Brian is. I think I already know what I'm gonna wear and it looks like he found out what he's gonna wear as well. You wearing the red? We got the little Stormy over here, the little puppy baby, Stormy. She's so adorable. So Brian, put on a shirt and let's tell them what we're about to do. <laughs> Are you bringing a camera back there? You gonna be like date night? Woo -hoo. I think I'm just gonna leave. Do the the house in the house because I feel like it might be too obvious. Okay. Okay, so as I was saying, Roland and Susu are headed over here now because we are going to this like R&B night tonight. Um, they're having like live music and whatnot. And I think it turns into like an after party after. But um, so y'all seen how Brian scared the shiznits out of me earlier. Whew. He, he, he scared me really, really bad. So we had this awesome plan to try to do it to Susu and Roland this Hopefully it works. This is going to be hilarious. Like, I'm going to go along with it as well. So, we have the whole plan, you know, happening. Brian's already going to be outside. We're, I'm going to go pick them up from downstairs. And we're going to pass by him. And, like, hopefully they say something like, Oh, my God, that guy looks creepy or something like that. And then I'm going to be like, Bro, I've been seeing him every time I've been going to the, to the mail room. And he keeps watching me. So, I'm going to play along with it like that. Just hopefully they say something, though. 
and then we're gonna come upstairs and I'll be like yeah Brian's um in the shower he's still getting ready or something like that and I'm gonna leave the front door unlocked over there and Brian is gonna come to the house in that scary ass mask and hopefully they're gonna be distracted with little I'm sorry, should we bring the Google Home in here and have music playing in here? That way it like creates like another distraction. Yeah, we can do that too. So they're gonna be distracted with Stormy as well as music. And obviously we're just gonna be talking and then Brian's just gonna come through the door and just stand there. Oh my God, this is about to be hilarious, hopefully. <laughs> and I'm gonna try to record as best as I can. And Stormy, you're gonna be here too, okay baby? Okay baby. You gotta tell me not to give up. Mm. I don't want everybody to be scared, and then I'm just like, ah, I got you. So what do you think? You're, but like, do you think that it's gonna be weird if you just stand there, or that's how, that's how I got? I think out. that's how I did. I just open the door. <laughs> you know, you want like a grandpa look. You're like this. Oh, it's like, oh, it's so terrifying, bro. If only that camera <laughs> didn't die. <laughs> You all understand that I was naked, guys, and I just got up. I'm like, oh my god! You look so creepy. Oh <laughs> man, fit. Yes, yes. And I think because the mask went all the way down to like your chest, it was so hard to see anything. <laughs> yeah, the mask is all in my chest. <laughs> Anyways, I forgot to mention this earlier, but. Um, you know about the whole dog situation this is what having a significant other is all about pushing you and making you feel a little bit uncomfortable and just helping you grow as a person and I feel like that's what Brian helped me do when it comes to dogs like obviously I had this fear for dogs I didn't really want to own a dog or anything like that and he kind of pushed me um, and made me feel uncomfortable and now I'm actually really happy and I actually love my little stormy so Yeah, and shout out to all you guys in the comments too. I guess For your little two cents, but either way it was gonna be me and Brian's decision and I'm happy that I have someone who You know pushed me a little bit to feel a little uncomfortable For a good reason because now we have this sweet little girl no kissing lips. It's for me. <laughs> She's your little teacup, dog. She's not a teacup. She's a little baby right now. She's a little baby right now. Should we do a trial run? No, nah, you're good. I'm good.